update on No Shave November. Today is November 25th. Hey guys, for breakfast I'm going to be having some ham, egg, and cheese biscuits. It looks really, really good. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm actually pretty hungry this morning, so I'm going to dig right into these. Fragrance that I'm going with today is Mason Margiela's Jazz Club. Morning everybody, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, just going to get my car started here. It's completely frozen. As you guys can see, just got to get it started. But yeah, I'm going to let it defrost and uh, so I can go hang out with Keith. As you guys can see, the weather is not the best today. Uh, it's pretty cold out. Getting a taste of winter here, I suppose. Uh, but it is what it is. It's that time of year anyway, so it really doesn't surprise me. We've actually been really blessed with fairly decent weather. Making progress. Hey everybody, made it over here to my friend Keith. So I told you guys we're going to be hanging out a little bit today. Uh, the weather, like I said, it's not the best, but it's that time of year, so we expect yep, this type of stuff. It's that time of year, and it's only going to be for one day. Yeah. So. Yeah, you guys can see the ground here. Well, Keith, you've experienced both as you've been in Woodward. Do you prefer the summertime or the wintertime? Uh, I like the summer until it gets 110 degrees. <laughs> I actually prefer the spring and fall more than... But if you had to pick one, summer or winter in Oklahoma, northwest Oklahoma. Uh, that's a tough one a because tough they're one. both miserable at times. Uh, I would probably choose summer, just because you've got more options to do stuff. But uh, I don't mind the winter here, it's still not bad. I mean, yeah, coming for where you came from. We're going to get one day of nasty weather here, and then by next week they said we're supposed to be up in the 50s again, so uh, if I have to deal with a day or two of nasty weather, it's not that bad. You know, Keith, last year in the wintertime, it was pretty, pretty cold. That's one of the coldest winters I've ever experienced here anyways. And uh, I would say the summer was very, very, very hot. It was a hot summer. So last year, I would say last year was one of the most extreme temperature years in both sides of the, the temperature range, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it was. It, we had a cold streak last winter, but... It was only for three or four weeks. Yeah, I mean, it didn't last long, but it was cold, cold. It was, and the it summer was, was hot, hot, it, hot. It was bitter cold for them three weeks, but uh, in the summer, it oh, just... It was miserable. It wouldn't end, it seemed like. Yeah. It just went on and we, on. Actually, the first part of the summer was pretty nice. And then we got into the July, August, oh, September. Oh, it was horrible. It was never below 100 degrees and that's kind of unusual usually it's not that way but yeah we're just hanging out talking about the <laughs> extreme temperatures of northwest oklahoma because they can change on a dime i mean it's just crazy how inconsistent the weather patterns are here uh i've never seen such inconsistent weather in my life you know next week seriously it could be 60 70 80 degrees because it's northwest oklahoma and then the next week after that it could be snow. negative 10. yeah <laughs> it could be snowing again but it is what it is we just want to hang out today get you guys a video uh, it won't be nothing special because the weather is absolutely horrible but we'll keep you posted god bless you guys Thank you.
seen these pretty neat hats out at the Woodward Fairgrounds. I think they're really awesome. Definitely, definitely cool. Yeah, they also had some purses and wallets and bags and stuff like that. I thought it was really cool as well, especially this wallet here. Awesome. Definitely cool. Hey everybody, Keith and I just stopped here at the fairgrounds. Uh, they were having a little event. Uh, not sure what it was. Funky, Sorry about that. Thing. Yeah, something like that. But anyways, we stopped in. There's just a bunch of vendors and got you guys two clips. Didn't get much. Uh, really nothing that interested Keith and I, but we still stopped in and checked it out. It's a good deal. So hopefully you enjoyed those two clips. But yeah, I think we're going to head out of here but yeah it's uh brought out a pretty good crowd there wasn't a lot of people but it brought out some hey everybody keith and i have just been hanging out at his house talking watching some youtube and yeah he's got to go out to walmart and ring the bell for the salvation army charity uh that's a great cause and i'm glad that he volunteers and does that that's really really awesome uh but yeah I don't know how busy Walmart will be. I guess he'll let you guys know on his channel. Yeah, well, I actually hope it is busy because that helps out the the Salvation Army. Yep. When the more people that go through and see the bucket, they donate. So if it's not busy, then nobody donates. So. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get you guys up to date. I'm about to head home because he's about to head out and do that. So we'll talk to you later. God bless. Yeah, I'm just heading home from Keith's house. I wanted to get you guys little video of the weather here as you guys know it's not the best weather uh, my car says 35 degrees but I'm not sure what the actual feel like temperature is but looks like we got some freezing rain or sleet uh, yeah I bet it'll freeze overnight and the roads might be might be or might not be terrible tomorrow so we'll just have to keep an eye out for that uh, but I had a fun time hanging out with Keith having conversations watching some YouTube it's always a good time but it seems like we're getting a little taste of winter weather so, so I guess that's nice for a change up but I think I'll take Main Street home because I don't really want to take the main road. Not today, anyway. But yeah, that uh, sleet is really coming down. So.
everybody now some snow is coming down i got my gopro set up out there getting some time lapse footage of the snow coming down so you guys will see that in this video but yeah i just wanted to get you guys up to date it is snowing yeah i've had the gopro out here a while just wanted to check on it make sure the battery's still good it's about halfway gone but i'm getting plenty of footage for you guys uh you see it's been out here for a while so just want to give you guys an update on it god bless hey everybody i was just checking on the gopro again but it's just beautiful you guys can see the snowfall on the tree yeah it's inconvenient for the roads and people trying to commute and travel because the ice and snow can get dangerous but when you just are staying home and chilling it really is beautiful uh i'm not a huge huge fan of the snow especially not a huge fan of the ice but yeah the snow is just beautiful if you just step outside even in just the backyard like i am and just take a look at it and admire god's creation it's just beautiful uh yeah you can't beat it give you a look at the sky you can kind of see some of the snow falling but yeah just came out here to check on the gopro again and wanted to get you guys some more looks at it god bless Alrighty, i'm gonna take the gopro off of here and review the footage but yeah it's been out here a while this is just a super quick time lapse video of the snowfall i caught it right when it started to fall hope you guys enjoy it god bless you guys i appreciate all the support
Hey everybody, my uh, dad and I got the uh, wood burning stove going inside the shop here, getting that going because it's just a perfect day for it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that footage of me clearing the paths, scooping the snow. Uh, it's not staying like that for long because the snow is coming down so heavy, but it's still not bad. Uh, just got to shovel it every, every few hours probably to keep it not so deep because the snow is starting to get pretty deep. It's not super deep, but yeah, because as you guys know, uh, Keith, he's actually from Iowa, so they used to get a lot of snow. So he's used to this kind of weather, but it comes ever so often here in Northwest Oklahoma. Uh, we do get our fair share of snow and I'm not complaining about the snow because we definitely needed the moisture. Uh, we hadn't had any moisture in quite a while, so that was a good thing. But yeah, I'm kind of just hanging out, out back and enjoying the enjoying the snow actually just spending spending most of the day at home and getting a video for you guys still because i want to put something out there but yeah that's just the update we're uh like i said getting the wood burning stove going and i'm just keeping a watch on the pathways here and the the patios and stuff like that make sure the snow doesn't get too deep so we don't track a bunch of it in the houses but uh yeah I'm actually really enjoying this, so God bless you guys. Thank you for sticking with me. Just wanted to show you guys, this is the wood burning stove here. Got it going here in the shop, kind of hanging out out back, like I said. Yeah, as you guys can see, my roof is completely covered in snow. Got all these uh, icicles too. Look how pretty this tree is here with the snow on it. I just love it. Wow, that is beautiful. Hey everybody, I wanted to come over here and show you guys this uh, local field over by my house. It's kind of pretty. Uh, of course, nobody's been over here. <laughs> snow and stuff's pretty deep, but yeah, it's just really beautiful. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, yeah, I think this is just beautiful just to sit here and admire. So, yeah, I'll get you guys some video through here. Uh, it's really not that cold. I have uh, long pants on, but I also have some uh, thermals under that. So, and then of course, I have my. Uh, big winter coat on so and a long sleeve shirt so it's really not too unbearable it's nothing like that uh last year uh cold snap that was just terrible it was so cold uh you couldn't even hardly breathe outside but yeah this is just kind of pretty just wanted to come out here a little ways and show you guys the beautiful beautiful view Everybody, we're having some uh, pork loin for uh, dinner. We got them on the Blackstone here. Smells really, really good. I can't wait to eat. Also, forgot to say they have a teriyaki marinade on them. Hey, everybody, I got my plate made here. Uh, it looks really good, smells really good. Leftover macaroni and cheese from Thanksgiving. Twice baked potato. And there's the pork gonna dig into this and I'll let you guys know what I think when I'm done hey everybody dinner was excellent uh, the teriyaki pork was just wonderful uh, potato twice baked potato was super filling 
Ha <laughs> I uh, couldn't finish it. And the macaroni and cheese still tastes good from Thanksgiving. Just wanted to give you guys an update. Excuse me. God bless. Hey everybody, I put a fresh battery in the GoPro. So it's all uh, charged up again. So I'm going to continue vlogging for you guys. I've actually been using the GoPro most of the day. Uh, like I said, I want to continue to implement all my camera equipment and my vlogs because otherwise it's just going to sit there and get no use. So yeah, I still want to vlog for you guys with the GoPro. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see, but uh, the snow is pretty much let up for now. We'll have to see what it does overnight, but yeah, I just wanted to get you guys an update here. Uh, it's pretty much stopped for now. Uh, there's still some little tiny flurries in the air, but it's nothing crazy. It's not coming down like it was. It was really, really, really coming down. But yeah, sorry about the lighting. Like I said, the ha huh, gets dark at six o'clock in the evening. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that and tell you guys that the heavy snowfall pretty much stopped for right now. So we'll keep you up to date on that but yeah i just wanted to get you an update there god bless hey everybody that was hot <laughs> that's a blooper still got the uh wood burning stove going it is really really hot hey everybody we uh Turn the porch light on you can see a little better now but the snow like i said it's pretty much quit for now there's a little flurries in the air but it's nothing uh nothing like it was just wanted to give you a better look at it god bless i wanted to show you guys my winter coat i actually found this a couple years ago at a rack store which is like a ross tj maxx Marshalls, stuff like that. Uh, don't remember how much paid for it, but it wasn't very much at all. It was a lot off the regular price. Because if you get one of these uh, winter jackets, or excuse me, winter coats, they can get pretty pricey. But yeah, uh, got this one at a I believe it was a Marshalls, but it keeps me warm. That's all I need it to do. I don't really care about the brand or anything, but it definitely keeps me warm in the colder months. I think next time I go to one of the bigger cities like Oklahoma City or Tulsa or uh, even Enid, Oklahoma, I want to go to uh, Ross or TJ Maxx or Marshalls, whatever, because there's a YouTuber I watch. He does fragrances. Uh, but sometimes he goes to those, uh, any of those stores and they have a lot of pretty good deals on fragrances, uh, really good deals actually. Uh, you know, if you go to a regular store or, or the fragrances websites, they can be pretty pricey, but you get a pretty good discount there at the, at the rack stores. So I might do that in a future video when I get back out to Oklahoma City or Tulsa or Enid or whatever. Just a bigger town than Northwest Oklahoma here, so, cause uh, we really don't have much here. But anyways, I'm rambling on. Sorry about that guys, I was just thinking about that. I was like, yeah, one, one of the YouTubers I watch, he, he definitely goes to the rack stores a lot and I'd really like to go to him just to check out not only the men's fragrances but just the different clothes because sometimes they have good deals on the on the men's clothing too so yeah my fragrance collection is slowly growing uh, i've been collecting actually a pretty long time i just haven't really talked about it until recently here uh i don't have a lot a lot but i have a pretty pretty good small collection here uh keep some of my favorite ones towards the front but yeah it's a ongoing thing I'm just collecting and just enjoying it so whatever hobby you have don't let people talk crap about it don't let people talk down on you if you enjoy a hobby and you enjoy doing it hey that's all that matters I won't judge you you know because some people like fishing 
Some people like hunting, they like sports, running, hiking, uh, cooking, eating, whatever your niche is, whatever your hobby is, go for it. Do it and be blessed. Don't let anybody get you down about it. I would say these are some of my absolute favorites in my uh, small collection here. Definitely not a Cavoyage. I wore so much of it in the summertime. Uh, put a pretty big dent in the bottle. Uh, Paco Rabanne 1 million EDT. Versace Eros Flame EDP. Versace Eros EDT. And Mason Margiela Jazz Club. Love all five of these very much. I would say my uh, GoPro here is one of the best investments I've ever made. So versatile. Uh, you can use it in the summer, the winter, uh, the rain, the snow, the mud. It just doesn't matter. This thing is very, very durable. Uh, I'm very, very glad that I got it. It's helped out tremendously in so many different videos from my channel to Keith's channel. Just all around. Been a big help. So I'm definitely glad that I got this versatile GoPro. It really, really comes in handy a lot of the time. I really like comparing the microphones that I own in different clips side by side. So here's this one. And here's this one. I feel like they're two completely different sound qualities. Don't get me wrong, I like them both, I really do. But I think I like the other one better. This one is very nice, very nice. But I definitely, definitely prefer the other one. But I do use this one on occasion. I definitely need to use it more so it's just not just sitting there. Like I said earlier, I want to implement all of my equipment that I use for YouTube videos, microphones, tripods, uh, GoPro accessories, the GoPro itself. So yeah, I just definitely want to implement all this stuff in my videos. Hey everybody, it started to snow again. Just wanted to <laughs> give you an update. Like I said, I was going to keep an eye on it, and sure enough, started snowing again. I actually do have a few tripods. This is one of them. I really like this one. Blooper. That fell on the floor. Anyways, this one really comes in handy too, this big tripod. I really do need to use the tripods more. I just feel like when I'm out in public, vlogging, doing YouTube, especially uh, a place like Walmart or, or a a bigger store or a, even even like events like there was an event out at the crystal beach fairgrounds today and i feel like if i bring a tripod and i'm holding the giant tripod and videoing people are gonna be like what is this guy doing especially in a smaller town you know this is not a not a very big town by any means now if you go to like oklahoma city or tulsa or los angeles or new york city People aren't even going to second guess it, but you know, in small towns, you know, some people just aren't used to the YouTube thing. They're like, what is this guy doing? And yeah, like I said, when I'm walking around with a tripod or, you know, I even have a microphone that you attach to the thing and it's this whole vlogging setup. Yeah, if you're carrying that around, people are like, what the heck is this guy doing? But yeah, it's just kind of funny. Yep, it's coming down a lot more now. Wow. Here it goes again. Hey everybody, I think I want to wrap up my video here. It's just now 8 p.m. I uh, still got to get a shower yet and relax for the rest of the evening. I did not expect to get a long vlog at all today, but I'm surprised at the length of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. If you made it all the way to the end and you're new here, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. But with that being said, God bless you guys. Peace be with you.